This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, I know it's been a while since I last posted here, but hear me out. I have some good news. So, uh, if you've been following me on Twitter, uh, I'm pretty sure you know that I almost died last month. I got covid <laughs> So I literally almost died. My case was pretty bad, but I'm recovering really well. So uh, everything is fine. Uh, during the, this time, so it was almost a enforced vacation or something like that. When I came back, I was really like hyped to, to get back to work. I don't know if the medicines had anything with that because uh, they did with other parts of my life, but. I plan a lot of stuff, so let me show you. So, big dive YouTube. So, since we are on YouTube, let's show YouTube stuff. So, I had the time to actually organize my project for YouTube. Before that, I didn't have a schedule because I didn't actually know what to post, so everything was like, hey, I want to post that, so let's post that. So, if you see here, it will look like a mess because there are a lot of inter-project stuff to deal with, like updating Moon Teaser for upcoming course. I will talk about that later. I will start a podcast, the Pigcast. <laughs> uh, I have already some guests confirmed, some other not so confirmed. Uh, the ones that are not confirmed, I will blur. Uh, then we have this to the list with a lot of content to actually explore. I would, I want to talk about like the productivity and other stuff. So here is the major change that I would like to talk about with you. Uh, this channel is not just tutorials anymore. Uh, when I feel the need of making tutorials, there are some tutorials playing here. So don't worry, there will be tutorials, but not only for Godot anymore. I want to make tutorials for like LMMS, Inkscape. I just don't have the the know-how to make tutorials for these tools yet, but they, they, they are totally planned. So yeah, lots of tutorials planned here, lots of videos planned. Um, I learned how to actually research for topics that <laughs> you are actually requesting. It's not just me wanting to make my stuff like uh, was before, now I have like a workflow to actually take the um, a video topic and filter if either it is useful or not. Now comes the real, real major changing, change. So now I have a side pro a branch. So PigDev now is branched into the studio which sells games and game assets and the academy, which, guess what, we sell courses and educational content. So for the academy, I'm playing something that, I don't know if I show you or not, but yeah. So remember the, the experiments that I was making before, and there are some pretty uh, neat stuff here planned. So yeah, it's behind schedule, but I will get to that. There, there is the, the experiment, and I was thinking about using the same uh, framework, like having each uh, community as a forum to discuss the topics of the, the project, using some... Uh, I will explain the course structure later, but the first course that I will make is based on Moon Teaser. If you don't know Moon Teaser, I will put the link in the description, it's a very cool game. Uh, I will make some upgrades and update it to like recent changes, recent techniques, and try to make enough uh, sales to take the money and uh, make a port to Android because the game was actually planned to be on mobile. For that, I will use the same structure of my uh, experiments. So let me go to the experiments project. So in experiments, we have what what each uh, provides us. There is a community, which I find very useful, especially for learning content. So we have like a lot of topics. We have uh, some boards 
so we can talk about general stuff about the the course we can talk about the art the design the engineering the tools the production uh, we can share some um, updates on our project and the idea of the course is that you will start with the the game which is Munchiza, the, the base project which is Munchiza, and we'll go through every decision so you know how why did I went with the design pattern why did I choose flat design why did I pick up like a mouse on space and what genre is that game so the course will be about making a flat design infinite runner game and actually put it into and actually publishing it you will feel the idea is that you by the end of the course you will have a flat design infinite runner game that is yours with uh, your with your soul on it and you will be able to sell it as well we'll use each as a platform for selling that so you can share your project on this community and stuff like this but this is not everything i have a lot planned and as you know time is short we have a lifespan so we have to prioritize stuff right so not everything will happen in a short period of time I will have to prioritize stuff but the priority right now is actually updating and upgrading moon teaser so when we have the time to make the course we'll have a very very feature rich game to explore and I think that, that that's it. We will have lots of content, lots of different content in this channel. Not only tutorials, not only Godot anymore. We'll have to grow. It's time to grow. <laughs> uh, I will actually sell courses. This is new because I work on GD Quest. We make courses. The VFX course was basically uh, designed by me and created by Nathan was you, you already bought it, right? If you didn't acquire the the VFX, the good VFX course, links in the description is a very, very, very good course. You'll learn like the, the C I think that this is the name of the course. 2D secrets. 2D VFX secrets. Yeah, you learn the secrets to make visual visual effects in Godot engine. Check it out. Uh so I never had the time to or the courage actually to make my own course and manage my own course project so i think that it's time it's time to to do that <laughs> and that's it i hope you enjoy these changes and i will really really need your support on that journey because man i will spend some time here so that's it for now thank you so much for watching keep developing and until the next time